Let's play O'Hare's Adventure 2, The Great Pyramid, a work of interactive fiction for handheld devices. The huge green serpent slithers across the cavern floor towards you, its fangs dripping with venom. Not today, you whisper. With a flick of the wrist, you open the birdcage. The raven bolts out of the cage, and in an astounding flurry, assaults the viper with beak and talon. Writhing in anger, the snake turns around and recedes into the darkness, the bird following close behind. Jane! Jane O'Hare! Time to wake up! Slowly, you open your eyes, and the dream fades. You see your mother standing over you. Grandpa John is here to see you. You sit up in bed. You haven't seen your grandfather, John O'Hare, since the family Christmas party a few months ago. A familiar-looking gray-haired man in a well-worn tweed coat saunters in. Hey, kiddo! How are you feeling? I just sleep all day. Having COVID is negative fun. I'll leave you two to talk. Call me if you need anything. With that, your mother turns to leave. Let's invite Grandpa to sit down and talk. Pulling up a chair, Grandpa looks at you curiously and asks, Did you read the book I gave you? The Cavern of Riches? Yes, I've read it lots of times. Sometimes I even dream that I'm the one exploring the cave hunting for treasures. <laughs> I knew you were a kindred spirit. Reaching into his satchel, he retrieves a leather-bound book. Have I ever told you about the time I visited the Great Pyramid? Um, no. It's all written down in here. He pats the book with pride. May I read it to you? Yes, please. Listening to Grandpa tell one of his adventure stories sounds better than doing nothing. Sure, Grandpa. I'd like that. You settle into your pillow and get comfortable. Grandpa John puts on his reading glasses and opens the book to the first page. This story starts in a desert, a kind of maze. Ugh, really? As in twisty little passages? Maybe I don't want to hear the story. Oh, it's not that bad. You just go south to get the shovel, then north again. Then go east and south, then dig a hole. Then east one more time, and you're at the pyramid. Okay, I think I can remember that, but promise me no more mazes after that. I promise. Let's begin, shall we? Begin. Okay, we're in a desert. Grandpa said to go south. Okay, we're in the tent. Pick up the shovel. And go north again. Okay, we're in the desert again. Grandpa said to go east, then go south. This is where Grandpa told me to dig. Okay, what did we find? Oh, it's a backpack. Let's pick up and look inside. Ooh, a lot of things fell out. Let's pick it all up. Okay, where did Grandpa say to go next? East. Okay, so we're in front of a pyramid. It says the walls are climbable. Let's try climbing it. Go up. Awesome. I can see the whole desert from here. And a brass key. I'll take it. Now let's climb back down. There's not much here in front of the pyramid. Let's walk around it by going south. Now I'm behind the pyramid. Can I go in? No. There's a brass door in the way. Maybe the brass key will help? Now let's go down the stairs. Oops, it's too dark. Good thing we have a flashlight. Okay, let's explore this pyramid. We'll stop here for now. Aww. To read the rest of the story and discover the secrets of the Great Pyramid, please download O'Hare's Adventure 2 from either Google Play or Amazon App Store. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.